We just don't have to take questions. You're not going to do it. No, we just don't. No. Glad we covered that. Yeah. <laughs> just to make sure we're getting full. We can uh, go ahead and take questions for Coach Christ. We have mics on either side. <laughs> make sure we're good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Was it an easy decision to hire both Dave and Joe? Yeah, I mean, for me, I, I couldn't be more excited, you know, and, and appreciative of it. And um, and it's, it's kind of neat in this um, profession to, you know, both really kind of knew about them. You know, there's two different ways, I think, as a coach, you, you know, you uh, you want – you know, you're proud of, you want to be proud of the work you do. And, and certainly when you say that, you know it's players, you know, but um, then you want that to be able to stand on its own merit. And and it is about relationships. And, you know, so for me, um, you know, kind of came about it two different ways. You know, bottom line is, you know, I think in all the coaches, you know, it's I think it's who they are as people and then, you know how they how they do their job you know as it's um and it's it's so much more than just the football coaching and 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 so for for me with with Dave you know certainly um Dave had a, has a great reputation as a football coach and then knew enough people that knew him as a person uh people that I I know and trust that um was really excited when, um, and, and all this is, it's not just a one-sided deal, you know, and, and as much, you know, when we had time to visit it, I thought it was as important for me, you know, certainly to get to know Dave, but Dave to get to know me. And um, and so when when he came and thought that it was, a you know, be a good fit, and um, I was really excited. And then Joe, you know, certainly have had the privilege to work with him, and um, and so you, you kind of come about it a whole different way, um, but again, you know, it's I, I was always you know impressed with uh, the way that he the way he coached, and that's the way he treated people. And you know, I mean, when you say the way he coached, coaching's not just telling a guy what to do on the field. And um, I always felt like when I was around, I think for all the guys, you know, you want to be in a with a group of guys that can obviously great at what they do, but also you, you feel like, you know, personally, I want to be around guys that I can continue to grow. And um, and I always felt that when I'm with Joe. You know, he kind of makes you think of things a little bit different or just watching him the way he does things, that's pretty good. You know, I mean, I remember, you know, our offices were next to each other and, and uh, Scott Tolzien was in my office and we are doing some stuff and, and Joe had Lance Kendricks in there. And, he looked at me and Scotty says, I wish you were as good a coach as Joe. <laughs> you know what I mean? But that you know, he heard it too. You know, what I mean it's a, it's it's pretty neat. And and I think that's what's you know, I, I look forward to, you know, st you know, started a relationship with 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 Dave and, and, and building on that and, and continuing to get to know him and um grow from him and and also then with an existing relationship to be able to continue to, to do that. I feel pretty fortunate with, with both of them. Andy? Paul, how is your your blueprint for building this staff, how is it translated to where you are right now? You look at, you have a guy devoted to special teams. You have a, a your offensive coordinator focused on offensive line. Is that has, been, has that been the plan all along, or is this kind of how your staff has evolved? I, I feel fortunate right now um, that it's, you know, I don't think you can go, you know, you got two ends of the spectrum. You know what I mean? I think that you, because it's all about finding the, I think, the best people. And it's, it's a, you know, it's fits. Um, and there's certainly other dynamics that, that come into play. But um, the, the thing I feel good about, I don't feel like I've been forced to, like, compromise or do something like, geez, that's not exactly how we want to do it. Let's make it work this way. You know, I, I haven't felt that, but, um, you know, I think, you know, Joe and Dave are both more than just, you know, they're not, um, 
they certainly have their areas of expertise, but I don't feel like they're pigeonholed into any, um, I think anyone, you know, it's not just focusing on the old line. That's what Joe's going to coach, you know, and Dave's going to coach backers. But um, I feel really good about the whole breadth of it with them both. And, 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 yeah, I did think it was important, you know, to have a special teams coach. Um, I think it's important to, um, you know, I think that certainly when you go through it, I think, you know, guys that either, know, you know, know and appreciate um, Wisconsin, you know, it doesn't mean you have to play it here. It doesn't mean you have had to have coached here. You know, I think that's important. Um, and I feel fortunate right now that I've been able to kind of um, build it the way we want to build it. Jesse. Paul, excuse me, it looks like right now uh, you still need to hire coaches for the secondary wide receivers and then outside linebackers. I'm just curious, what's your, your plan for that? Do you hope to have everyone in place before everybody can go recruit? And how do you approach that right now? That was good. That was one of your questions I anticipated. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, I think I feel pretty close um, to getting it uh, done. And, and certainly, you know, we get to go out Thursday. And, um, and so we'll be ready to, you know, do all that and, 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 and have it in place. So uh, it'll be soon. Jason. Coach, in your recent discussions with uh, Bob Bostad, how serious was he about, you know, returning to college? You, you know, um, obviously, I think people here know, you know, I think the world of Bo as a coach and, and as a guy, you know. Um, and, you know, when Bo came with me uh, and us to Pitt, you know, I knew where Bo wanted to um, – where where he also wanted to continue to go to right and so and we had that discussion you know i know where you know i think bo wanted to have an opportunity to coach in the nfl and and i told him then and you know if, i don't care if it's three days three weeks three months three years you know um and then you, i think with all these guys you know you, you enjoy the time you're with them and and um never want to keep someone from going and, and you know Obviously, Bo had the opportunity in Tampa, and then, um, you know, I think kind of through his body of work, you know, had an opportunity then at Tennessee, and, that, you know, that, that's – he's got a great family with um, – you know, that's not easy for kids to move schools and all that, and um, Bo, he congratulated me on this, and, um, and that was about – you know, we didn't have discussions about it, you know, and Bo's in a good spot. And, uh, and and happy for him, and um, and and he's fired up for us. Jeff, Paul, just to clarify, you said Dave would coach the backers. Is that all linebacker positions? Just the ones that are playing well. <laughs> <laughs> Inside and outside, or not? He can coach everything. I mean, yeah, we're gonna kind of as we keep putting this thing together, but. I don't know what angle you're coming from. No, I just – you said – He's a coach. No, because last week coached inside linebackers, yeah. but not outside. Yeah. And I just want to clarify. That's, we're going to have probably an inside backer and an outside backer coach. And then whoever's playing well, he'll coach. And I mean, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Behind the curtain. <laughs> okay. You had to assemble a staff. That's a tough one to follow, you know. I know. <laughs> I, I'll give it my best. <laughs> Uh, you had to assemble a staff at Pitt. Was it any more difficult, or did you know some of the roadblocks or challenges in, in assembling this staff? You know, I think it it helps you. There are um, – in having – kind of knowing them, it doesn't make it any easier. You know, I've been fortunate to talk to a lot of really good people that are really good coaches, and you talk to more than you can hire. And – that's for me personally that's not i knew what it was coming but that's hard you know and and um and yet i really am excited about the group we're putting together um but i think you do feel certainly different dynamics um you know i think that uh wanted both you know i think that i kind of learned along the way on on this that wanted both 
um, Dave and Joe to be really involved with completing the staff. That's why I was fortunate that that you know I had a chance um, right when I got here to to visit uh, with Dave, and so was able to kind of go through the whole process with him. and And I enjoyed it because it, you know. One, it kind of just helps facilitate more discussions. You know, sometimes we go off on a tangent and nothing to do with staffing, but it was it was good. You know, I like that, and and certainly with with Joe, um, you know, there was a, there's more familiarity. I think you know he kind of knew or I knew right where he's coming from, so he maybe didn't um, have to elaborate as much. You know, um, but it was. Uh, I think it, you know it helps having done it at Pitt, and um, I don't think I've certainly perfected it. You know, what I mean, it, um, by any means, but I think it would help. Grant, Paul, Paul, is it imperative to have former Badgers on a staff that can recruit and coach players that you need to bring in here to Wisconsin? Yeah, I don't say imperative because we got some that aren't that I'm really excited. You know, and I think the tremendous fits. Um, but I think that there is, but I think those guys know the state, they know the program um, and respect it. I don't think that's the, you know, you didn't want to say, okay, I got to get X amount of X players or X coaches here or from the state. Um, but I think it's all part of their makeup of who they are. And, and, you know, I think it also goes back to, you know, you're around, there is, it's hard in an interview to really know who that person is. You know, I think the the best interviews would be if you, you know, were sleep deprived for a week and then have something really bad happen and then you find out how they respond to it, you know, and, and all that. And, um, you know, it's, it's not a, you know, so you do rely on relationships either. And, and that's why I think, you know, you do, um, look at people you know or people you really trust that have worked with them because um, I think it's who they are as much as how they are as a coach and what they do um, on that end. So um, I put value into knowing the state or having played here, um, but it's not imperative. Jeff? Paul, I think some of us here are familiar with some of the names here, Mickey Turner, Thomas Brown from last year, but Guys like Herring and Brechterfield, that who you hired at Pitt, can you explain to us what you saw in them when you work with them there that said, I want to bring those guys with me here? Yeah, you know, uh, in OK, uh, first got to know him when, when I was coaching at Oregon State, and he was a player for us. And then um, and, and loved him, at, loved just the way he went about. Um, he was a good player, too, really good, which I liked. Um, but he was. You know, you just kind of liked the way he went about his day to day, and then um, he went back, and, and obviously, and then he worked with Mike, and um, so I kind of started to learn more about him as a, as a coach, and and then when I had the opportunity, it was it ended up being a good fit, you know, for for Noakes and for for Pitt, you know, so he came out there, and and that's when you truly get to spend more time with him, and and I think that he's just a um, a guy that truly um, cares about all the things. I think what he values in coaching are things that I appreciate a ton. And 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 then, you know, part of coaching, you know, so staff-wise, you know, tremendous staff person, tremendous family, um, and just the way that he goes about every day. He's a guy that I think, you know, you want to be around and, and, and you know that, then when you watch him and see him, how he interacts with with players, and um, and I think what he did with Aaron Donald, you know, um, I think it's all that coaching's about, you know, and that's helping a guy be the best he can. You know, Aaron did a ton of it. You know, Noakes didn't make Aaron Donald, but but I think he certainly helped him. Um, you know, I got to see that day in and day out. Um, it, it was pretty, I think Noakes was pretty special that way as, as a coach. And then Chris, you know, I first met Chris when I GA'd at West Virginia. He was a player, um, you know, captain of the team, 
you know, heck of a player, grew up. So we, Chris took a recruiting visit here as a, as a high school uh, recruit. And, and so just kind of hit it off. And, and um, again, a lot of the core fundamental values, you know, saw eye to eye on. You know, he grew up, his dad was a coach, um, brother's a coach. And, and then always stayed in touch with him. And then, you know, it worked out that he was, you know, coaching high school in Pittsburgh, but wherever, um, if, if something would have ever happened, wherever, I would have asked him to, to see if that was a good fit for him. Like, I would like him um, on that staff. And it worked out. And, and then, you know, I thought did a heck of a job, uh, you know, with, with our players. You know, I think he gets um, kind of the, the mission statement, you know, and, and um, again, great family. And, and uh, you know, I was fired up when both Noakes and Chris, you know, said, yeah, Madison would be a great opportunity coaching at the University of Wisconsin. You know, it all, it all fit, and, and, and really excited about that. Rob, uh, Paul, what are some of the priorities getting a new staff on the same page ahead of spring ball, and how important is this spring camp in terms of players getting to know you and vice versa? I, yeah, I think, you know, obviously, you know, as coaches, you know, you, you know right now we've got to finish off the recruiting class, and then um, it'll be a great time because – um, you know, February, March before spring ball, that is what it's about is make sure we're on the same page. And, and, and just because, you know, the guys that I've been with, you know, we may do some things different than what we did before. And, and you know, we're going to add some guys that are going to be able to bring a lot to it. So I think, you know, kind of all getting on the same page. I'm looking forward to that. That's, that's actually energizing. It's fun. We all grow from that. Um, and I think like you said, the, getting to know the players, it, you know, every time you're with them, it's important. But, you know, certainly this is because I think we're much better coaches when we know who the guys are, not just what they can do, you know, athletically on the field, but how they're motivated or, you know, um, how they respond to different things. What's the best way they learn, you know? So I think, uh, you know, we can't get around the players uh, enough because I think that's and it's something you hope you're always kind of continually doing. But I think that's, you know, to be able to start that. You know, it's not, you know, just them knowing names and us knowing names. And then, um, you know, the, you love it when that part of the transition's over because that's, you know, I, I think that's one of the best things about this job is the, the personal interaction you get to have. Andy? Paul, sitting here right now, what is your priority? And secondly, uh, to what degree has Barry had any talk with you, any influence with you, any opinions with you with regards to your staff? You know, certainly priority is, is you know, f finishing the, the staff um, and then making sure we're ready to, to make the best use of our time starting tomorrow. Um, and, and I think you know, then which translates into making sure that we, you know, add a good group of guys that that make, you know, that are great fits for Wisconsin and, and make this team better. Um, as far as with with with, with Barry, um, I would hope that in, in a lot of the things that I do, I can uh, lean on him as a resource. You know, it's pretty fortunate you know to have that and um and so i you know i've never you know with all these people you know i want to do it with everyone um and and certainly you know coach alvarez is part of that and yet um you know i appreciate the way that you know he wants it to be um you know i've not felt Anything but just, you know, getting some advice and, and um, you know, you lean on them for something. And, and uh, it, I've enjoyed kind of bouncing stuff off them. It's been pretty fun. Brian? What intrigued you about Thomas Brown, a young, proven coach, it seems? Yeah, I mean, it was, um, you know, obviously I think I've been fortunate to be with some really good running backs coaches, you know. Um, 
you know, when I was first here, you know, I loved working with Seth and loved working with Thomas. And, um, and then, you know, so I feel like I got a pretty good, uh, and, you know, Ollie Wilson I worked with in San Diego, you know, I mean, I think I've been around some really good ones. Actually, you could say great ones, you know. Um, and, and so you have a sense, it's a pretty high bar, you know, and, and, and yet I also I think that was one thing um, really with all the coaches. You know, I was impressed with all the coaches because I was here and was able to watch bowl practice. And it was kind of a, that's a strange dynamic because I didn't, you know, I'm not there to evaluate them. I'm not there to, um, but kids would come up and talk to me about Thomas, you know, and, and, and obviously had a chance to visit with Melvin and, and then, um, you know, had a chance to sit down and talk with him. And I think a lot of the things that, that I saw in those other running backs coaches that I've been around with, he had some of those core uh, principles that you say, you know what, that's, that's pretty darn, that's pretty darn good. You know, so I, I think that was, um, like anything, you kind of just take in a lot of different things, and 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 then that you know Joe had a chance to visit with him and um, kind of maybe confirm what you were thinking. Um, so, so I thought that was uh, felt pretty fortunate there, you know. And like I said, because it's a it's a pretty good bar that's been set. Andy, Paul, have you decided how you're going to assign recruiting? Who's going to oversee it? Who's going to be uh, Who's going to be part of that equation? You know, kind of working through that right now, and it'll be close. And I think really, as far as all of it, you know, certainly we're going to have some of those, you know, I think there's some core areas that are important for for Wisconsin. And then, uh, you know, where you supplement from, um, I think it depends on kind of as you finish up the makeup of the staff, you, you know, but, but certainly, you know, you're going to start from within, you know, and I think that, um, as we build out and then, you know, as far as staffing and um, still have a, you know, recruiting coordinator position to fill. Um, and then with the other coaches, we'll be able to kind of tighten that all up, I hope, sooner than later. Paul, since you took the job, a lot of things have happened in the Big Ten. Some uh, new coach at Michigan, who you know well, national championship won by Ohio State. What's your thought of you knew it was going to be a difficult task to begin with, but coming into right. the league now where, where those two big dynamics have changed, what's your thought of, the, of go, what your task is going forward? You know, I think that, um, you know, obviously it has been, a, you know, a heck of a run, you know, strong games in the bowl game, but I, that's kind of how I perceived it to begin with. You know, I mean, um, I've always had a lot of respect for and, and know, you know, what Ohio State is and, and and certainly Michigan, you know, and you know with Jim going there, but so I don't think that it's um, it didn't change anything. You know, it wasn't like it wasn't like you're watching this and saying, "Wow, this is different than I thought." You, you know, um, and and so you know you're always you know challenged and and uh, and that part's exciting, you know, because um, there's opportunities there, and so um, you know certainly. Everything you do, you know, is important and, and about making, you know, Wisconsin the best it can be. And, and you know, Wisconsin's always had to compete against Ohio State's and Michigan's and, you know, now in Nebraska, you know what I mean, and Maryland and Rutgers added to it. But, you know what I mean, it's, it's the Big Ten and, and that's what you expect from it. Anything else for Coach? All right. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Brian.